With the Boxing Union, uh, we've decided to run a similar format to the Super Series and uh, have uh, boxers seated, and then that will allow the four seated boxers uh, to pick their opponents. Uh, the fourth seed is uh, JG McDonough, the second seed is Chris Blaney, the third seed is Roy Sheen, and the fourth seed is Jack Cullen. The winner, the, after JJ picks his opponent, the winner of that bout will face uh, the winner of uh, Roy Sheen uh, and whoever his opponent is in the semi-final and the same applies then uh, for, for bout two and uh, four. So uh, without further ado, we'll hand these out to the boxers, uh, they can say a few words and then uh, let you know about the opponents they're going to be picking. So we'll pass it off to JJ McDonough. Hi guys, uh, delighted to be on the show. I just gone at, uh, last week, we can have to have our little and uh, I thought the show would be cancelled. This is going to be going to end up tomorrow, so we wish all the lads best of safe journey home and I hope no one gets badly hurt and then come home properly with the families. And uh, I go to pick it beside me first time. <laughs> And he's over Chris Blaine. Hi, as JJ said, nice, nice to be part of such a big show and I thought it was also going to be cancelled. But um, yeah, delighted to be part of this and hope it's a great night Saturday night. Um, I suppose my opponent, I pick Owen. That's <laughs> um, Just, he's, he has, he's, a, he's boxed Sam Evans and Jim mate of mine and it's a draw, so nice to get one over on him. So, Joe. That's the look. And he's out there really shame. Yeah, same as the boys. Um, delighted to be part of this tournament. Uh, it's been a long time coming the last few weeks. Thank God it's here now tomorrow night. Um, I third seed, um, I'm only choice of two lads to pick. Um, I pick Belowski uh, for my uh, for the first round. And I uh, hope everyone the best and a safe journey home. Thanks lads, uh, that leaves us then with uh, Jack Cullen uh, as the final seed and he's then drawn uh, with Nick Quigley. So what I'll do is I'll um, open the floor to questions for the boxers and then Connor will run you through with the next few bits of pieces. Any questions? <laughs> Right, I'll pass you over to the boxers each individually uh, who, are, who are in the fight. So first of all, I'll go with Jared Healy to uh, answer some questions about his upcoming fight with JJ McDonough uh, and his preparation so far. Hey, uh, welcome everybody. Um, well, just got the hardest fight of everybody, but I'm um, prepared right and ready for it, so just wish everybody just the same safe, safe night, do you know what I mean? Be good. Uh, it's an honour to be on this show. An honour to share the ring with this guy. So it is. So best luck to you, isn't it? And Owen, a uh, controversial draw last night with Sam, Sam Evans. Um, you're now against Blaney. How you been going into that? You said you were prepared for that, so you've been watching him, uh, studying him well. It, yeah, to be honest, I thought it was Abby again. JJ or Blaney, but I'm happy at Blaney because last time I fought his mate Sam Evans, he boxed, boxed his arse off and got a draw, so we hopefully get a bit of redemption tomorrow. I think Blaney's a tougher test, but I think, I think I'll think i be might be up against it, but I think I'll I think I've got a good chance of winning. Definitely, me if I fight. I've got a baby to use, a nightmare getting here, but I just want to have a scrap now and a pizza and a beer after. <laughs> And then over to, I think our youngest contestant here, uh, Vladimir Belusky, um, on added last week, so he's taking, he was supposed to be on the undercard in the four-rounder, so he's taking this on short notice, but uh, he has a tough test against what many people think are, might be the favourite. I know Blaney and the other lads might have something else to say about that, but uh, with a great, great amateur record, Vlad's in for a tough test, but I think Vlad's one of the most fearless boxers I've seen, uh, so I'll let him say a few words about how he's going to uh, come up against Rui. Thank you. Well, I wanted to be here, and I'm here. Um, and it doesn't matter who I'm fighting, because I'll have to beat them all to, to win it, so 
it doesn't bother me. Um, I'm coming for a knockout and hopefully uh, to run able to see some ferocious knockouts coming from my side. Thank you. And then finally, finally uh, Jack Cullen, who came in again, um, who came in at late notice, and I think everybody was shocked when we saw him come in about six foot five, right? <laughs> uh, so probably a wild card there, picking a dark horse. So it's going to be a great fight between uh, him and Nick Quigley, who I'm not sure if all the lads know, who fought uh, Spike O'Sullivan back in September. So that's a really good fight. So I'll let the lads say, obviously he didn't have a choice over Quigley, but would you pick them anyway? Yeah, 100%. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter who you're fighting in this game, does it? You're all going to end up fighting each other. So, you know, all the best. Uh, yeah, it's, it's one of them. It's the same as Jack just said. You, you, it doesn't matter who you're fighting. If you want to win it, you've got to beat everyone who's put in front of you. So, uh, it's going to be unusual fighting someone as tall as him. But I'm sure I'll be able to reach. <laughs> Any questions? Any other questions? Any sorts of shoes with that? No, so basically, as I said, when we announced the competition, unlike what Prize Fighter did with Sky Sports, he had substitutes on the night there, but we felt it was unfair because I think Luke Keeler was affected by it, wasn't he? Where he fought somebody that came in fresh on the night after. Uh, that was me. Hang on, that wasn't me. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised by something in the yeah, substitute like, got put in against Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, there's no substitute yeah. at this stage. Uh, hopefully nobody slips in the shower tonight or anything dodgy like that. And the eight boxes out here will fight tomorrow night. If one of them gets injured in the fight, uh, there is uh, plans in place for the next person to go in. The loser goes through. So they yeah. 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 So yeah. 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 So you could compare it to Groves, Eubank. Obviously, there's talk of Groves pulls out, whatever. Eubank is the next in line in there. Uh, if that happens, so rightly or wrongly, that's just the way it is. Yeah. Any other questions? Could you clarify the semi finals again, please? Right, so the winner of quarter final one will face the winner of quarter final three. Quarter final one is now JJ McDonough against Jerry Healy. Uh, quarter final two is Chris Blaney against uh, Alan Jobber. Quarter final three, Roy Sheen, Vladimir Belusky, and quarter final four. Cullen against Quigley. So 1v3, 2v4. Uh, so what you're looking at, hopefully, um, all going well, um, that we could have some great, I think you can map it out yourself, if everything's got to win each one, and map it out yourselves, have your own predictions, but you can almost see, it's, it's nice knowing that we could see X, B, Y in the final or semi final. It's like the World Cup, isn't it? You know, winner of Group A is going to face winner of Group B, so uh, you know yourself. So. We could, have, we could have JJ Blaney in the final, we could have... Is there a betting on it? Yeah, there will be a betting. Uh, we're announcing our betting partner tonight, um, who's sponsoring the event, and then it's up to the other betting companies if they want to take it. Um, but that betting company that we'll announce tonight will be doing odds. It's up to... Are you betting on just the eight-man or are you betting on our as well? Yeah, there'll be Irish top five odds as well. Um, what time is the four is there? What time is that? Uh, so, we got, so just for clarification on TV wise, we go live on TV at quarter past eight tomorrow evening uh, on TG Car. Uh, the first bet will be at twenty past eight uh, quarter finals, and then that will be followed by the Irish title fight. Uh, there will be. I know what you're going to ask right there. <laughs> uh, so the show roughly go, oh, uh, doors open about five. Is it? Uh, first, first five at half five. Uh, there will be a live. Or there will be a float. For the, in case one of the quarterfinals goes goes quickly, um, but that would be pre-recorded and then shown on TV. So, for instance, if the first quarterfinal went in the first round, we would then show a pre-recorded undercard fight, which could be Victor, it could be Dylan Moore, it could be anybody. I've got a question. Yeah, go on. <laughs> you know, well, I was in, I was in by yeah, yeah. years ago, and unfortunately. When I got to the final, my opponent has had nine minutes rest for the final. He's had nine minutes rest for the final. And I'd had, no, I'd had nine minutes rest for the final. He's had over 40 minutes rest. So when I got to the final, he was fresh. I was gassed, just come over there. Is the uh, a gap in between the semi and the final? Because it could fall unlucky with, with uh, one yeah, fight or just fighting. 
there won't be a major gap between the second semi-final and the final, but yeah. hopefully it won't be 40 minute type thing because if you think about it, so the first semi-final will finish yeah. straight into the second semi-final, yeah. and that can only be three rounds, it's only yeah. be about 15 yeah. minutes in total between ring walks. So I'd predict the match that the person in the first semi-final who wins that will have about a 20 minute rest. Hey, I'm not having a full year after the second semi-final part one. Sorry, sorry. No, um, Jeez, we. That's, that's, the second that's what that's what happened to me. But I said the second thing point is I got a break. I'm back here. There's about five time in. Yeah. What happens in the twelve round fight? What happens in the twelve round fight? They don't. The twelve round fight. They're not getting the time to fight. They're not sitting down a bit. After eight rounds, they're going for the half time to fight. Well, it happened to Luke here as well. He's probably fought. Price where he had about a 45 minute break and his hands swelled up uh, and it happens to people as well that the longer you leave it. There, there, there will be a break Jay between the semi-final and the final roughly 10 to 15 minutes but, but not, not we, have, we have scheduling constraints so our hands are sort of tired because the lads uh, were going live at quarter past eight and we have the off air by five past eleven so it all has If you want to. Yeah. But I, th I think the main thing is that just that there's not like a, something like Nick said there, like an error between yeah. the thing. Like, you know, the, the max difference is going to be about 10 minutes. Sorry, when you said that the boxing starts live at 8.20, isn't that correct? Yeah, that's right. The first quarter final. Like, that's the first quarter final. Correct. Yes. And does, that, does that, that competition then just continue until the final? Yes. yes. And then you're going to follow it with the the Irish light middleweight title fight. Yeah. Yeah. So, and uh, in terms of, of a timeline, have, you, uh, have, we, have you done a timeline? Yeah. Um, J Jay and Craig will be in the ring at seven minutes past ten. <laughs> okay. He has the second as well. <laughs> okay, and uh, just, just in relation to the undercard, yeah. you, you mentioned there 5.30 p.m. Rough. start. Rough. Well. It, because at the, at the, certainly the 4.30 was, was mentioned as a possible start. So can I take it now that it is 5.30? Yeah, well, I, th I, yeah. I think people can work it out themselves now. Yeah. The, the final fight on the undercard has to be finished by about 8 o'clock. Okay. So, and you know how many fights are on the undercard, so... Yeah. It, originally we were looking at having... Well, to be quite honest, I don't think anyone knows how many fights are on the undercard until all the fighters land in Ireland. It, 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 like we are in the in the hands of the weather in terms of, of yeah, no, um, isn't that right? So, so I just want to know um, how many fights. Well, why we originally said that it was going to start at half four was because we had we had a was supposed to fight in the four round. Yeah. So was JJ McDonough. Right. Um, who else have pulled off the right? Um, we've had a couple other people that were supposed to be on the okay. other okay. So yeah, but we'll have a full twenty more if you need to know. Great, uh, thank you. Okay. What's our event? Right away, expected. Right after the big sales. Ticket sales have gone well, uh, both through general sales and from what I've heard about the boxers, but they always say that, so. <laughs> uh, the, the weather, what we've been told and what we're hearing is the weather is due to clear <coughs> the next 24 hours, so I imagine there'll be uh, a good attendance in the loop because everyone will have cabin fever sitting in for the last day and a half, so. Yeah, one more Wednesday, one more Tonight, he'll be confirmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on, Israel. I hear about you guys talking about some bonus knockout, right? Yes. How many of you have more than two knockouts in the tournament? Well, there's a 1,000 euro bonus for each knockout. So if two people, get, if you get two knockouts yourself, you get 2,000. If one gets one, but then there's also the fastest knockout is an additional bonus. So, fastest, fastest, yeah, of the night. Okay. What's happening if you don't get any knockouts in the tournament, you get knockouts in, in the other No, no, you can't win no. money. <laughs> <laughs> we save money, that's not. Right. <laughs> what, what's, what's the hook with there? JJ and Jer. JJ, how do you see your boy going, Jer? Yeah, Jer, I'm going to put What's your yeah, okay. Jake, and the bonus is trying to knock out anybody. Uh, <coughs> if a knockout comes, it comes. But uh, this loading up on the front will be tried there. But I reckon I can knock any of them out if we connect cleanly at all. But the same way, listen, there's only three round fight, anything could happen in the fights. But uh, I'd like to fight the winner of this 
the advice winner, I give any advice uh, an opportunity to fight me for the Irish side. Uh, yeah. Any fair than that, I can't be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's, uh, Phil, I don't know if Phil is going to be back for Butch, it's definitely going to be done. But uh, hopefully Phil will be home for, for uh, mm. he's out in Turkey to deal with his weather. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. How do you feel about the point of Jay Dallas? As you said, obviously, it's a basketball, but I don't think Jay would be inspiring. Being pushed over the last few months, I don't think Jay Dallas would be inspiring. How do you feel about that contest yourself? I'm going to pick this from Dan. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it is definitely the hardest fight. Like, he's a big range, he's so probably actually enjoy watching and boxing, like, but uh, as I say, I have a couple of different styles myself. And, I'm a decent boxer, like, don't, don't be looking for rack for rack for your details, like, so, I mean, I'm coming to give it a ring, it's just an honour to share the ring with such a talented guy, so don't mind, if I can get past him, I believe I can win it. Jaden, Sorry, say again? Okay, good. Do you think a big experience in a similar competition like this is trying to go step come forward into this competition? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, I think in, in, uh, when I was in prize fights, I went a little bit uh, on hall in the semi-final. But it's one of them. It, you've, you've got to give it everything, but as if you don't, and you, you don't get the decision for whatever reason from the judges. You, you, you're just regretting not using that extra bit up in your tank to, to get, get you the win. So although you're trying to um, sort of hold a bit of energy back, thinking it could be another fight after this, you can't hold too much back because you don't know what the judges are seeing it through their eyes. So you've got to do more than enough to get the win, but also leave some in the tank. So. I did a, a tournament um, a few years after prize fights, which Frank Warren put on, which was a, a very similar format, quarter semi-final, and for, for each each uh, each round you stop someone, you get more money, and in that one I, st I stopped everyone. So I'd like to think I've learned from me, me younger prize fighter days to the Frank Warren tournaments, and hopefully I'll follow on here and I'll, I'll, um, I'll perform, perform tomorrow night as well. Uh, JJ, um, obviously you believe that you can go all the way to the final uh, and win this competition, but looking at the other side of the draw and who you're kind of avoiding, who you might get, who do you think is your uh, biggest rival to win this competition uh, and who, who do you hope to get and see you getting in the final? Well, uh, to be honest, uh, well, he, he's Chris there is seated number two. I have to, I'd be definitely meeting him like in the final if we get this side of it, he gets that side. But if he was in the other side, I don't know, if some junior boxer just say, like this, Flab is a great boxer, Rai is a great boxer, if they were on his side of it, you don't know, I don't know. So definitely I'd say I'd want to get Chris from that side of it, if it happened, I'd be delighted to share the ring and fight. Have you been looking past the, the first fight? No, 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 I'm not looking past the sure. anything can happen, but I'd be definitely in strong enough. Definitely, if I'm not ready now, I'll never be ready to be fighting any of the So uh, I think the whole lot of them should be the same way with me. I asked Chris there, who was talking about uh, Irish boxing that time, that okay. mentioned my name, that he wanted to fight me about a year and a half ago. Because <coughs> I don't know, there you are saying you don't rate me as a boxer. In action fight and you say go back for a year and a half because you know, you're not ready. I think you're man enough to be ready when you're ready. Yeah, I was always ready. I was asked after my debut, where, where did I see myself in the year? Oh. I was super middle of it. You were the champion. Obviously, you want to fight the champion. I'm not going to go and call you out after a fucking yeah. two fights. Who who, who would want that fight? A 1 and 0 and whatever you had. Nobody, nobody. It makes, more, sense. No, it makes more, sense. More, more, it makes more, sense. It makes sense. Build the fight up. Yeah, because yeah, the, the, the scene he was being done was, yes. I'm, I'm very sharp now over here. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking at scene one and two. Was that done on purpose to try and get the two lads in the final? Well, I think with anything, um, it wasn't done on purpose, but it's everyone's got an opinion on who should be one, should two. But yeah, no, it was, was done just on the way one fights the winner of three, so on over. So that's. To be honest with you, right, we haven't been too uh, original. We've looked at what 
Cali Sailing in the um, tournament done there. I think that's worked out brilliantly at the cruiserweight as well as super mid middleweight. Fortunately for the World Super Series, they had the top two seeds now meet each other, Callum Smith and George Rose. That's just the way it played out. Um, but we sat down with Mel um, and our own guys and we put together the eight names came forward. I think JJ was a shoe in for a number one spot. That might be me being biased, but Irish super middleweight champion. Um, you have to be 15 and 3, former WBA champion, um, and Chris Blaine is the Celtic champion, 9 and 0. No, but just. Uh, like, oh, you're well, saying, well, I guess. Getting the boxer on the table there, my, 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 my favourite he was, was Roy. Yeah. You know, he had one fight, but he's in the top four seats. Yeah. That doesn't really make more sense when he lands at the table there with a lot more wins and a lot more experience. Yeah. Know he has a, and no disrespect to you, Roy. I just think a fella that's had one fight. Debut, we come from the top of our seats with lads out and loads of boys and a lot of wins. I thought that was a little bit, I don't see where it's seen and that one's too much. No, you were getting the show. Listen, listen, I appreciate what you're saying, but I think it's like, you can't just forget about an amateur record or something like that. And it is kind of an amateur, it's like it's only on two rounds of action as well. But you can't just this. Uh, disregard somebody that's had such a great. I'm down to be favourite. Yeah, no, fair enough. Yeah, so. I don't think it was actually known as fair enough. Why did he throw into the top four? See, it's not that he'll care because, as I said, he's probably the most technical and decent boxer on that table to be straight with you after what he's done in the uh, sport. But I just feel putting well, a fellow with one fight into the top four seeds <coughs> is a bit weird. So many people are thinking they don't see them. Do you know what I mean? This is about who the BUI and the selection committee with Mickey, Elliot and Kenny Deegan and our team and the BUI, who they thought were the four best boxers. But, you know, and I don't think you can look past JJ or Blaine as the top two, uh, just because of their experience. Roy's amateur background speaks for itself. You have to have one pro fight, he's one and out. So, yeah. Um, and then the, to be fair, the fourth seed I think was a real tough one because everybody's in around the same level. You have five undefeated fighters in the competition. The three that aren't undefeated, Jerry Healy, JJ McDonough and Nick Quigley, that have, what's that, 37 I know, 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 I I don't think you can disregard the amateur scene though. Like if you look over what the British Boxing Board did, right? If you have a, a kid that turns over has no amateur pedigree or whatever, he can't go straight into a ten round contest. He has to do four, sixes, eights, whatever. Joe Joyce, who turned pro with David Hay, the British Boxing Board sanctioned him for a ten rounder against Ian Lewison, who had previously fought for the British title and the British title eliminated. So they, they took into consideration how good Joe George was in that, as an amateur. So it wasn't like, if, if you put and Boxer X, Boxer X has no amateur pedigree. He can't do a 10 rounder straight away. Joe George was allowed to do it. So that just proof that people do, you have to consider the amateur background. Do you know? I have a question. I'm not aware of the 10 rounder that's supposed to be. But that, that wasn't in Britain. And he had all that. Say again? He all that. Listen, the, I, I won't. I, I, no, fair enough. But, but I, I won't. I won't slag off the the, the the way the American commissions do it. That's that's up to them. I think. Look, look how they do their medicals. They're, they're backwards over there. So. <laughs> I know Victor's had his uh, all over tan. This one is any boxer here for the TV. An all over tan. JJ, stand up there. Stand up. Show him. What? Just that. You. How are you feeling now with the performance? I'm feeling good, you know, I've been along a few weeks. I've been, been, been along a few weeks. Um, I know the weather has been bad this week, but I'm bracing well. I know it's tapering down week, but um, I'm just mad to get in there tomorrow night. And I know these lads don't know who's going to find that. I don't care who's going to find that. And that's the goal of the truth. Um, yeah. What about the predictions for uh, Vlad? Oh, Vlad, you know what I mean? I, I just picked Vlad because there's only two lads left. You know, I'm not picking it because of Andy. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just, I didn't mind I picked Vlad or any one of them. I'm just on the night. Like, I'm going to have to fight you. I'm going to win the tournament. I'm going to have to fight you. I don't mind the white fight. I'm glad I wish you the best luck as well. And 
Oh, rest in peace. What do you think about being the third seed? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't mind uh, any seed or even if I was in the seed, you know, I didn't care. I didn't care who the seeds were and whoever. It I, I didn't really matter to me, and that's the truth. Any more questions? Any on face offs of the. Yeah, we'll do face offs now between the. Thanks. 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 Thanks.